In previous video we have downloaded and installed the Virtual Forms framework. Next, what we need to do is to be able to create the reports. And to create the reports we need the Microsoft Report Builder application. This is a free application from Microsoft where you can build a robust paginated reports. There are two versions of Microsoft Report Builder. There is one version Microsoft Report Builder. This is a version that is used in SSRS or in SQL Server Reporting Services. This is the one that we need. The second version is a Microsoft Report Builder for Power BI. We do not need this one for Power BI. We need the first one called Microsoft Report Builder. Let's go and search for it. And this is the one. Download Microsoft Report Builder. This is the one. Microsoft Report Builder. I will show you also the second one. This is the one that we do not need, Microsoft Power BI Report Builder. So, this is the one that we need, Microsoft Report Builder. Download it. And after the download has finished, run the Report Builder MSI and install the Report Builder into your machine. Now we can delete this file. And to be sure that you have installed the right one, go and search for it report builder it should have this icon not the icon for power bi while we are here i will show you the main difference between the report builder and the report builder for power bi when you run the report builder if we exit this and if we want to add a new data source and if we click on the use a connection embedded in my report in this report builder, we have the OLEDB and the ODBC. In Microsoft Power BI report builder, we do not have these two connection types. Okay, this is it for now in this video. In next video, I will show you how you can prepare your Excel data so that we can use it in the report builder and that we can uh, base our reports on this data.